Welcome to medicine in three minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Today's topic is paraneoplastic lung syndrome. What is paraneoplastic lung syndrome? Symptoms are that occur because a tumor, lung cancer for instance, it develops an ectopic production of hormone or cytokine elsewhere in the body responsible of specific symptoms. There are five categories. The first one is the squamous cell carcinoma. The second one is adenocarcinoma. The third one is poncos tumor. The fourth one is small cell carcinoma. And the last one is carcinoid tumor. Let's start with the first one, the squamous cell carcinoma. It is central. It is associated with smoking. There is an ectopic production of palatormone related peptide. And there is a high level of calcium in the blood. Because it is linked to parathyroid, think about bone, stone, ground, and psycho overtone. The second one is adenocarcinoma. It's peripheral, most common in women, no link to smoking. Actually, it's not really a paraneoplastic syndrome. The third one is poncos tumor. It's apical. Do not confuse with tuberculosis. There is superior ven vena cava syndrome and Horner syndrome, interfering with the sympathy ganglion. The starting dough flow of sympathetic system began at the level of the hypothalamus. It goes down to the thoracolumbar uh, colon and sympathetic fever going to the head and neck come essentially from T1. I read the ciliary spinal center of a bitch in which the sympathetic start to go to the head and neck. There is a compression of the sympathetic somewhere to give a Horner syndrome. There is a ptosis, a meiosis, anhidrosis. About superior vena cava syndrome, there is 3D, dyspnea, distension, and dilation, dilatation of vein, jugular vein dilatation. Now, let's move on to, to num, number four, small cell carcinoma. Actually, we reduced two cases. The first one is ectopic production of ADH, and the second one is ectopic production of ACTH. The first one, ectopic production of ADH, there is SIADH-like syndrome with water retention, low blood so sodium, and high urine osmolarity. The management is fluid restriction, and if saline is low than 112, give three persons saline. Ectopic production of ADH, the small cell cancer, uh, carcinoma is linked to, to smoking, is more frequent in the old smoker, and there is water retention. Second type of small cell carcinoma is ectopic production of ACTH. It's cushion like syndrome, moon faces, diabetes, hypertension. 
regarding, regarding to SADH, it's a volemic hyponatremia. This is the normal case. This is hypervolemic, and this is hypovolemic. It's an euvolemic hyponatremia. The last one, number five, is carcinoid tumor. Carcinoid tumor, there is a dump of serotonin giving diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and with bradykinin, it gives flushing and migraine. The breakdown of serotonin gave 5 hydroxy endoacetate acid, which is used as a test carcinoid tumor of the lung. If the level of 5 hydroxy endoacetate acid in the blood is high and urine is high, let's review. The first one is squamous cell carcinoma. The second one is adenocarcinoma. The third one is pancreas tumor. The fourth one is small cell carcinoma. And the last one is carcinoid tumor. We appreciate your uh, comments. Uh, would you like to click the like button and uh, to add a right and uh, see you in the next episode. Thank you.